Hey guys, it's Jailbreakist. For today's video, I'm going to show you how to SSH your iPod Touch or iPhone. SSHing will allow you to put themes, custom wallpapers, and custom ringtones on your iPod Touch or iPhone. Now, for this type of SSH, you're only going to be needing your USB cable and your iPod Touch, obviously. Okay. So, first of all, you need to download iPhone Box. I'll have a link in the description for that and WinRAR if you don't already have it. Some things I have to say about iPhone Box is it's not compatible with all iTunes, so just bear that in mind. I'm running iTunes 9.1, but it works for me. But for the laptop I normally record videos on, it doesn't work on that one for some strange reason. So just bear that in mind, guys, and don't get mad if it doesn't work. So now, once you've unzipped the iPhone Box, file because it will come in a WinRAR file you're gonna see this right here so plug in your iPod touch or iPhone and exit out of all the iTunes stuff and you're gonna open up iPhone box click run and it's gonna start to find it and it should come up like this so once it's find found your device you're gonna double click on it and now you're in the main folder system and you can select where you what you want to do. So for music and video, I've tried this, but I had no luck with it, and it just took up a lot of memory. It's <laughs> really big waste. So I don't know if you should try that, but you can go ahead and experiment for yourself. The general storage, you use it as a USB device, so you can store like your school files on it and bring it home if you don't have a flash drive. Your camera, I don't have an iPhone, so I don't know. Wallpapers, you can put your custom wallpapers on it. I have some on here. Um, yeah, works really well for wallpapers. Um, I haven't tried ringtones yet, but you can use that for iPhones. Um, I haven't tried applications yet. And for themes, you go under raw fi raw file system. You're gonna go to library, and then you're gonna scroll down to themes. Now, I don't have a, th any, a theme on this computer, so I'm just going to use an example that'll represent a theme, even though it has nothing in it. So, what you're going to do is when you're in here, once you go under Library Themes, under Raw File System, you're going to grab your theme, and you're going to drag it into an open space. Okay, and it may take some time to get in there, I don't know. But once it's done that, and you've done whatever you want in this program, it works really well, by the way. Um, but once you're done, you're going to click on des Device Safe Removal, and you're going to click Remove. And that will disconnect your device safely. So now you can remove it. Um, whatever changes you made on it should be there if you did it correctly. And... Thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment, read, subscribe. Um, I'll see you next time.